IKEA is pushing a massive recall this morning over dressers that could be deadly. The retail giant is calling back nearly 30 million of its dressers and chests. The products are capable of tipping over and crushing little children. Vanita Nair is here with the action that some critics say comes much too late. Vanita, good morning to you. Good morning. For years, IKEA has been under increased pressure to do more about the mom brand products, but it always stopped short of a recall. Following the death of a 22-month-old child earlier this year, the company is changing direction, admitting it hasn't done enough and is now trying to make things right. The uh, safety of our customers is the most important thing, and therefore we're taking this unprecedented action. IKEA is pulling the plug on at least 29 million dressers and chests at risk of tipping over following the death of three children in the past two years. This morning, we spoke with IKEA president Lars Peterson. A death of a child is an incomprehensible tragedy and it should never happen to any family and our hearts go out to the families that has to go through this. Last year, instead of a recall, IKEA launched this ad campaign, warning customers of the dangers of falling furniture. They also distributed 300,000 anchoring kits designed to secure the dressers to a wall. An education campaign was not the answer to this product safety hazard. But some consumer safety experts called that decision a half measure and say the products should have been called back long ago. I don't think this was quick enough. This product need to come off the market. I wish it had been sooner. I wish that no children had been killed and no children had been injured. On average, one child dies every two weeks from falling TVs or furniture. At least six deaths have been connected to IKEA's mom dresser. Many times it's just not the parent's fault. Last year, after 23-month-old Kern Collis was killed by an IKEA dresser, we spoke to Elliot Kay, chairman of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. The furniture is inherently more unstable than it needs to be. Industry can do far better in making much more stable products, and I'm challenging them to do that. IKEA is expected to release more details on how customers with these dressers can get their refunds. The company is also reportedly offering to send crews into people's homes to tether the furniture to a wall. The biggest issue is, you know, so many young kids, yeah. they're crawling up on the dresser. Yep. Once you have all that weight in it from clothes and toys and whatnot, that's when it becomes it's really unstable. Yeah. yeah, and it's important to know, it's not just Ikea. I have a dresser in my kid's room that we had to secure to the back, too, that when you pull out the doors, it falls over, mm -hmm. which is so scary. I don't think parents think about it either, so it's no. an important reminder yeah. also. It shouldn't do that. It should be weighted better on the back of the dresser. Yeah. Anyway, Benita, thank you so much.